You mean you're actually joining the sumo club? Of course I am. You're for real? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe it! We got a new club member! Hey everyone, Sumo Spiffy here. Welcome back for another oven fresh Guess the Bonzake, this one for Kyushu 2022. If you're new to the bar and grill, here's how it works. Over on sumoforum.net, people predict which Rikishi will go where on the next Bonzake with points scored for correct guesses. If you pick exactly where a wrestler goes, you get two points. Choosing the right rank but the wrong exact position earns one. Most points wins, simple as that. So let's get started. Here, with our flashy new moving pictures, we have the Makauchi division from Aki with their records next to them. As you can see, we tag winning records blue and losing records red. Next, let's attach these colors to all the Rikishi who are going to change ranks. Not all of them will. For those who aren't aware, Matakiyumi was Karuban in the last Basho. If he had a losing record, that would make two in a row, meaning he would be demoted. He went 4-11, so down he goes. Shodai went 10-5 and five in July, so despite having the same record as Matakiyumi last time, he's not going anywhere. Terunofuji doesn't move because he's the Yokozuna, Takakesho had the best Ozeki record so he'll stay ahead of Shodai, and Wakataka Kage and Hoshoryu had winning records at the top two Sekiwake ranks so they won't move either. Alright, let's get to some actual movement. Adding the win-loss records to their current ranks, we end up with... This. You'll see we've added a couple of Juryo ranks with the Rikishi that landed on those levels at the bottom. This is because if you count the wrestlers who calculate as being in Makauchi, we only have 38. Yutakiyama, Tsurugisho, and Mitoryu dropped below this, so they have to be demoted. But apart from Azumaru, nobody in Juryo did well enough to definitively place themselves in Makauchi. We'll talk about them later though. First, as you can see, we've placed Matakiyumi at Sekiwake 2 West. By rule, a demoted Ozeki must go to Sekiwake. Wakataka Kage and Hoshoryu hold the main slots, so we have to make a second Sekiwake rank for him. And because we have an East Yokozuna, Matakiyumi has to go West to balance things out the same way he was Ozeki 2 West last Basho. Now let's make the rest of the Sanyaku changes. You may notice this doesn't line up exactly the way the calculations ran. According to those, Tamawashi should be at the front of the line. In fact, he may very well be placed at Komasubi 1 East, while Kirabayama is kept at K1 West. The Banzuke committee only pushes promotions for all winning records when they're in the Maigashira ranks. The reason I have it like this is simply because I think they're going to give Kirabayama that small promotion on 9 and 6, and since Tamawashi is going to Komasubi anyway, the difference is minimal. If Kirabayama was 8 and 7, I would likely place Tamawashi ahead of him. Tobi Zaru rates ahead of Kirabayama, but if Tamawashi couldn't get ahead of him, neither can Tobi. So he has to go to Komasubi 2 East. Daesho goes to Komasubi 2 West not only because no 7 and 8 Sekiwake has been dropped further than Komasubi in 30 years, but also because if they did drop him to Maegashiro 1, the rest of the Banzuke would be a disaster to figure out. And finally, Abi drops to Maegashira 10 East because that's where they routinely put Komasubi who are Kyujo with zero wins in a Basho. It's consistent enough that I'm going to make this my working assumption and if they do something else, so be it. By the way, if you're wondering about the possibility of Tamawashi going to Sekiwake, they could do that, but since Daesho only made it to Komasubi with a 13-2 record at Maegashira 1 West in January of 2021, there's no reason to believe they'll bump Tamawashi that far. Let's do the next batch and get to what I think will be the most interesting decision point in this Banzuke. Yes, I did move Wakamoto Haru from rated higher than almost everyone in this group to the bottom. Here's why. Takiyasu is well beyond the rest, but we know the committee feels no compulsion to force someone who goes 11-4 at Maegashira 4 into the Sanyaku, so he lands at Maegashira 1 East. Katonawaka, Meisei, and Ura all went 8-7, thus, according to how Banzukes are currently handled, they must be promoted at least a half rank, which is what they've all received here. But why are Midori Fuji and Ichi no Joe still ahead of him? If you've seen my Banzuke videos before, you've probably heard me say that the committee doesn't like to over-demote anyone unless there's no choice. In that vein, since 2004, out of 169 wrestlers from ranks 1 through 5, 
who finished 7-8. and eight. Only one was demoted two full ranks, and that was in 2004. Tokitsumi dropped from 4 East in May to 6 East in July. Several have fallen a rank and a half, but if we assume Ura goes to 3 East, that's not an option here. If it hasn't happened in 18 years, it's probably not happening this time. In the same time frame, only one out of 37 Rikishi to finish 6 and 9 at Komasubi dropped to Maegashira 4, Tochi Notion in 2011. That said, if it was going to happen again, this would be the time. Wakamoto Haru rates well ahead of Ichinojo by the math, so it wouldn't be any shock to see them flipped relative to what I have here. I have Ichinojo ahead simply because this committee tends to be stingy with promotions in situations where the Banzuke is somewhat choked. I'd say it's about a 55% chance that I'm right, a 40% chance Ichinojo and Wakamoto Haru are flipped, but only a 5% chance that Wakamoto Haru is at 2 West and both Midori and Ichi are bumped down. If that last one happens, it may be telling for future Banzukes, but I would be immensely surprised by it. From there, as you can see, the rest of the Banzuke shakes out pretty cleanly. There are only three calculation ties before we get to the bottom of the list, and we have precedent to guide us in those cases, so we can just sort everyone out in order. As you can see, I have Takara Fuji ahead of Aoyama and Onisho ahead of Kotoeko. Both of these are because when two Rikishi with losing records end up tied, the committee usually favors the wrestler who was ranked higher last time with the worst record. Oho ends up behind not only Chiyotaryu, but Okonoumi because he was 7-8 and eight at Maegashira 13 West, so he can't go higher than that. In fact, if you'll notice, three wrestlers in this group with a 7-8 and eight record, Tochi Notion, Kota Shoho, and Oho, receive no demotion whatsoever. Five slots to go. First, we'll make the easy changes. Azumaru and Kagiyaki rise, and Chiyomaru is eliminated due to having a 7-8 record at Jurio 1 West. Now we have three slots for four wrestlers. Atami Fuji is clearly going to be promoted, but one discussion that's been had involves whether Tohakuryu should also be promoted despite calculating behind both Teretsuyoshi and Hirata Umi. The main reason is that, because Hirata Umi would have to stay at Maegashira 16 West, if Teretsuyoshi also stays in Makauchi, he would have to be placed ahead of Hirata Umi despite rating behind him. There's also the argument that going 6 and 9 with only one rank between you and falling out of the division means the next guy up should get his chance. I don't think that's going to happen though. This committee already shows a very real level of favoritism towards wrestlers who are in Makauchi over those who are in Jurio. I find it highly unlikely they'll demote Teretsuyoshi in this case. In fact, I find it much more likely that the argument at hand would be whether to even place Atami Fuji ahead of him. But dropping to 16 East means Teretsuyoshi is only being demoted one rank after a 6-9 record. That's as much protection as I think he'll get, which means that Tommy Fuji takes the 15 West slot and Toha Kuryu slides to Jurio 1 East next to Chiyomaru. And that's the Bonsuke for Kyushu 2022. If you liked this breakdown, hit that thumbs up, and if you think I'm an idiot, hit it twice. Either way, I like hearing what everyone thinks, so leave a comment, tell your friends, and I'll see you next time.